What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about two things that Sledgehammer is working on for some future updates that a lot of us I think would like to see fixed in Modern Warfare 3. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course if you enjoyed the video hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Now one of the big things that a lot of people have been talking about is the spawns in game. Now different modes have I, I think worse spawns than some other modes. But right now, Quarry, Rundown, and Scrapyard are temporarily removed from the Hardpoint uh, playlist due to spawn issues. Now, if you've played Hardpoint any at all, it is a game mode that I enjoy, but the spawn system is absolutely horrendous. It is kind of weird because you will spawn up with someone right behind you. You can be in the Hardpoint. Your team will actually be on the side of the map that the Hardpoint is on, and they will still spawn right there with you. So it kind of makes it just, you know, just a mess around the uh, the hard point itself and does not really give you any control or feel like you ever have control of that hard point because people are just spawning all around that area. Also, another thing that they're working on is something to do with the firing range. And I'm not sure if a lot of you know this, but the firing, firing range dummy health does not match the health of real players. And I'm sure some of you probably have noticed when you go into the firing range, those guns seem to kill a lot quicker than they do if uh, if what compared to what I guess what you're using in game um, the firing range dummy is a good way to test you know your weapons recoil to test kind of how the weapon feels but the dummy itself does not match the health of real players and in my opinion that is an issue because it kind of gives you that false sense of what that gun is going to do once you get into a you know real game so that's something they're also looking at and last but not least the EOD padding gear option that is not mitigating explosive damage correctly. They've already talked about that the grenades do too much damage. They're working on that. But the EOD padding, I, there's been plenty of times that I've been right around explosives with the EOD padding on and die like I do not even have it on. So it's not like flak jacket was in the past. Uh, it doesn't really seem to help you from that first initial, uh, initial explosion of a grenade, RPG, whatever the case could be there. Uh, but... It does look like that they are working on that. They're also working, like I said, on that grenade damage. But those are three things that I know a lot of people have been discussing that are not working properly in game. And those are three things that Sledgehammer is working on. And we should see something, hopefully within the Season 1 update, uh, we, you know, kind of involving these three things, plus some other stuff in game as well. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And, of course, I'll catch you all next time. Peace.